I am learning a lot about keeping bees in these bee barns this year. Everything was going great. We came out of winter with tons of stores still in the hives. All the hives survived. Because of the insulation, the bees didn't use very much honey over the winter. And they came out of winter with tons of honey in the boxes. Big colonies, bigger than I've ever seen, and all doing great. You know, brewed in the hives in, in early March, which I had never seen before. So everything was going great. A Little bit of a moisture issue, but that was my design problem that I'm fixing for next year. It's an easy fix, it's not a big deal. The bees dealt with the moisture just fine. So everything was going great. The bees were building up nicely. And then I got a swarm. And then I went around the, the bee yard and I made sure all the other hives were, were good. There was plenty of space in the hives. Wanted to make sure there were no queen cells in the hives. I checked all the hives for queen cells. Everything was good. Put extra supers on the hives that looked like they needed it in case, you know, they needed to put honey someplace. I didn't want them to feel cramped. And then came back about a week later and more of my hives had swarmed. And they built up so rapidly, I'd never seen anything like it. I mean, there were, there were empty frames, there was, there was empty comb, everything looked normal. And I think we caught a flow, I think it was black locust, and the bees just went nuts. The queens laid every inch of the frames, the bees were hauling in honey and putting it in the brood boxes, and then the swarms happened. So, had a few swarms, not that big of a deal, but we got swarms, and I think I know how to fix that for next year as well. I'm gonna be working on that. So today I'm going around to make sure we have laying queens in all the hives. It was a week ago that I discovered swarms. There were emerged queens in all of the hives, but they weren't mated yet. So I'm hoping this week they mated and we have laying queens. So that's today's mission. Woo, we got capped honey here. It's not fully capped, but we got, we got cappings. And same here, not fully capped, but they are working it. There she is, okay. That is definitely a mated queen right there. And she's, she's right there laying. Okay, there's brood all over this frame. And our queen is here. She looks great. She's definitely mated, definitely laying. All right, I'm gonna close them up. I'm gonna give them, uh, yeah, she's over here too, okay. So I'm gonna give them a clean frame to lay into. Draw that out, bees. Right in the middle. Okay, last week there was a queen in here, but there was not a mated queen in here. There's a queen and she is definitely mated. So she mated and came back. Beach Queen the second right there. The brood in here. Yes, there's brood everywhere. Okay, got a laying queen in the beach hive. Okay, Pine also had a queen but not mated queen last week. There she is. Oh, look at her. Look at her. Hello. Beautiful new pine queen. It's like a chocolate color. Okay, just gonna make sure they have space on those empty frames there. And just leave them alone. Oh yeah, they're just drawing them out, so they're good. So here we go. This pine hive is, is back in business for sure. So another success, swarm, requeen, building up solid in mid-June. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, this is the birch hive. And if you remember, I put queen cells from the maple hive in here a couple weeks ago. And the queen cell emerged last week, and I'm gonna check and see if she's laying yet. Okay, I saw a queen in this hive a week ago. She was unmated, but absolutely had a queen. Okay, queen's way out here. 
She's right in the middle of the frame there. I don't see eggs in, in that in that frame. All right, so they have two two completely open frames to to uh, to lay into there. I'm gonna move these two frames together because these two frames are are perfect laying frames right in the middle. I'm just gonna put them right together. Okay, those are all drawn out. Hopefully, the queen gets on those and starts laying. That is a maple queen, so, you know, potential, potentially a great queen. Yesterday I went through the whole bee yard. Four of the six bee barns are queen right and doing great. They're building up, they have lots of supers on, everything is going great. The fifth one, the birch hive, has a queen, but she is not yet laying. That was the hive where I dispatched the queen in a previous video, and I gave them a frame of queen cells from the maple hive. I gave them a couple queen cells, put them in the birch hive to make a maple queen. Uh, she emerged and she looks mated to me, but she's not yet laying, as far as I can see. I'm gonna check them in a few days and see if there's eggs. Uh, hopefully she's, she's mated and things take off over there. Today, I'm gonna go through the maple hive because this is the sixth one out of the six. I did not see a queen yesterday, so they are not queen right. Didn't see any eggs or brood and no queen. So I'm gonna go in here one more time, check for a queen. If I don't see a queen, I'm gonna take a frame from the cherry hive, which is the Adrian Balboa line, and give the maple hive a frame of Adrian eggs so we can make another Balboa hive right here. That's the plan. All right, this hive is a monster, but they do not have a queen as far as I saw yesterday. So I'm hoping that I see a queen today or evidence of a queen. Seems to me like maybe she just didn't come back from her mating flight and now they're just queenless. So, sorry to disturb you two days in a row, bees, but we gotta get you queen right. <gasps> there is a queen. Dang, there she is. She's on this frame. What are you doing on this frame, queen? I missed her yesterday. She's stripy. All right, you got to get laying. What are you doing in there? She may not be mated yet. But yeah, she's right there. She's down. She's right there. There she is, right on the edge of the frame. She's got her followers. Okay, so maybe crisis averted? Maybe she just hasn't started yet, like the other, like the birch hive? Because birch and maple, that, they actually both came from the same hive, so both of those, those queen cells would have been the same age. One went over there, one stayed here. So they're, they're you know, sisters, same exact age. So maybe they're just both not quite laying yet. All right, so what did we learn? today and yesterday. Well, four of my six hives swarmed. And I've learned a lot about keeping bees in bee barns this spring. And I think I have solutions for that swarm problem for next year on Bee Barn 2.0, and I'll get to that later. But what I did learn was all the hives that swarmed have requeened themselves and they're building right back up. So, you know, not a big deal. They did swarm my lost bees. And I know people hate that, but it happened, and it happened at a great time of year because now we get young queens mid-June, and the hives are going to build right up, and they're going to be slamming for the fall, and they already have, you know, honey supers on, and they're they're packing them in. So things are just fine with that. Uh, one of the hives, uh, two of the hives are still not queen right, but they do have queens. That's the maple and the birch hive, which is. The maple hive had swarmed and left queen cells. I split the queen cells, put one queen cell into the birch, left one in the maple. Both of those queens have emerged. They're still in the hives, but neither has started laying yet. But they're, they're sister queens, so they started at the same time. I'm hoping once one starts laying, the other one will about that time be laying. So I'm just going to wait on them for a little while longer. 
but they are both still in the hives and they're accepted by the, the colony. The colonies are doing fine. So everything is fine, you know? Um, but I did learn that these bee barns are so hot and so big and strong that the, the hives got so big so fast that uh, th th I just, it happened like overnight. It, it just seemed like overnight. It was within a week. All the hives just went from looking fine with no queen cells to swarmed in a week. And that was with supers on top. So I have a solution for that I'm gonna try next year. And that brings me to version 2.0 Bee Barn, which is in production right now. I'm waiting on parts for it because certain things this time of the world, uh, you know, supply chain issues. I have things that I've ordered that I know are on a container ship coming across the Atlantic Ocean and uh, I'm just waiting for them. But I have enough stuff to build a couple bee barns and I'm gonna get into that hopefully within the next month or so and explain to you what's going on. So um, Bee Barn 2.0 is coming. There are significant changes to it to solve the winter moisture issue and the swarming issue. And other than that, uh, you know, just be patient. Things are fine, things are great. We're gonna have a good honey, harv honey harvest this year. And uh, that's the news, so thanks for watching.